Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So can we please just take a moment to appreciate the fact that I have finished university. I'm done. I never have to write an essay ever again. And it's the best feeling in the world. Anyway, it's been like months since I've done my last monthly favourites and we are now in, well, are we in June now? By the time you see this, we might be in June which is terrifying. Either way, it's way too into the year and it's terrifying me. But because I haven't done a favourite in such a long time, I thought I would gather up a bunch of my favourite things. You know the drill with favourites videos, that's generally how they work. Um, and just tell you guys what I've been loving over the past month, but also the past few months as well. So I'm just gonna get stuck in. My first favourite is Loving Tan. I've already gone through two bottles of this I think. I have the dark one and I've gone through two bottles of the ultra dark. Um, this is just like the best tan if you want to get seriously, seriously dark. Like I'm not just talking tan, I'm talking like just dark. I haven't got this on right now, I'm actually quite pale. I've been using the Bondi Sands liquid gold and oh my god I've only had this for like two days and I'm already down to there and I've had like three coats of it on. I'm not dark so this might appear in some sort of disappointing products video unless it suddenly sort of gets kicked into shape but um, compared to this one, the Bondi Sands is like nothing. This one is so so dark and it lasts for like I said about five days. It takes around six hours to develop but I find it doesn't really smell that bad. I've gone out and I've had like the um, whatever you call it colour like, on my skin and I've walked around and I haven't really sort of noticed anyone looking at me as if I look like I'm covered in fake tan and it doesn't smell or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is like my favourite fake tan at the moment. I was having such high hopes for this one because I've seen so many people talk about it on Instagram. Um, but yeah, like it makes your skin feel nice and it does give you a nice subtle glow, but I don't want subtle glow. Like, have you seen my skin tone? My skin tone is like paper white and it just makes me look dead. So I like to stock up on this. Two coats, perfect. So next up, I don't know whether this video is going up before or after the other one, but as you can probably see by my eyeballs, they have changed colour. And that is because of the Desio Sensual Beauty lenses. I recently got these about two or three weeks ago and I've been wearing them pretty much every single day ever since. Like if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll probably have seen that my eyes have just like become grey all the time. Um, and that is because of these. I absolutely love them. I'm going to be doing like a full video or I may have already done it depending on which one goes up first. Um, but yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I've also got the colours Desert Dream and Creamy Beige. Um, these are the shades of grey, the darker version I think. Whilst we're on the topic of eyes, again, if you follow me on Snapchat, which is Coco Chic Blog, you will have seen that I posted about this a while ago when I got it and I was absolutely obsessed. It's the Rodeo Glamour Lash Mascara XXL Extreme Black Lash Maximizer for Amplified Amplified volume. This is like my favourite mascara ever. It doesn't really look like much when you just sort of look at it as it is but it literally just does everything I could want a mascara to do. I find that the only downfall with it is sometimes on my lower lashes because they are so so long if I do coat them a bit too much sometimes they can like wear a little bit under my eyes but if I put like a powder or anything or something like that underneath then it's absolutely fine but for my top lash especially, they go so black, they go so long, so voluminous, and yeah, I absolutely love it. I also find it lasts a really, really long time as well, and it's not one of those mascaras, you know when you get a mascara and you like it once it's dried up? I just like this as soon as I opened it, which is great because when you buy a mascara, you don't want to have to wait like two or three weeks for it to dry out just so you can use it. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this, and I still think I've got loads left, and I use it pretty much every single day. So my next favourite is an electric razor for your face. So you guys have probably seen all over the internet there's this thing about like facial shaving and all that jazz. I've been doing this for quite a while now um, but I haven't done it with an electric one and this is literally like the best. Um, so as you can see you just turn it on, turn it off. I got this from Amazon, it was like three quid or something, it's just got a little um, AAA battery in. But this is so so good at like clearing up my eyebrows here because my eyebrows kind of go a bit like this. Um, really, really good at trimming my moustache. I shove it up my nose sometimes. I get it kind of like around here. I do my hairline because I have like the most horrendous baby hairs that kind of like trickle down my face and give me like this weird mini fringe. Um, but yeah, this is so, so easy. And like I said, it was like three or four quid. Makes shaving your face or any other areas a whole lot easier. Um, if you have really, really full brows, then I recommend getting something like this, even if you don't have a hairy face like me, um, because it just means you can get like right in between. Obviously be careful because I did have like a little mishap 
with like one hair here and it kind of ruined the whole shape of my eyebrows but that's all in the past now um so yeah i absolutely love this for kind of like shaping my brows and also around here i kind of get like a lot of dark-ish hairs that i just tend to get rid of now um what else do i use it for uh, i use it on my belly button because if you've ever tried to epilate your belly button like your sort of snail trail that hurts so i just shave it now um the glamorous life of being a hairy person, what can I say? <laughs> so we're still on the topic of hair products, this one being for my head. And this is the Lush Big Sea Salt Shampoo. Again, I hauled this over on my Snapchat. I had this when I lived in Epsom. And I never used it again since. I don't know why, but I absolutely loved it. I'd gone through like three of these before. And, oh, it smells so good. Basically, it's just, I don't know if you want to see this, it's like a standard sort of shampoo and then it's got huge chunks of sea salt in and what this does is it literally makes your hair like double in size now I've got like I said really, really thick hair so my hair is quite like amped up but because I've got so much of it and it's quite long it does kind of drag itself down a bit so when I have like my shorter layers like I've got now I did have like my hair chopped recently um, it kind of boosts it a bit more and just gives it a bit more volume and I absolutely love this it makes my scalp feel so so clean and I actually used to get psoriasis kind of on the back of my head in like a tiny little patch this big um, and I don't have it at the moment but when I was using this this really helped it I don't know if it's something to do with the sea salt because obviously like sea salt is quite sort of calming to the skin um, but yeah this was so so good at getting rid of that as well so yeah I've started using it again I just picked it up on a whim and I now use it whenever I wash my hair so probably like every three days or so um, and yeah I use it like twice so I do like the first one is kind of like a bit of like an emulsifier and then the second time it like foams up like a bitch and sometimes I'll do it three times depending on how I'm feeling depending on when the last time was that I washed my hair uh, but yeah this stuff is so so good like I said using it all the time I've had it for a few weeks now and there's still a bunch of it left so it lasts a really long time and this one I've actually read I watched someone's vlogs I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this off oh Basically, I've read that underneath the stickers on Lush products, if you lift them up, it has like a naughty little message. And this one says, when size matters, dot, dot, dot. I'm just going to end it on that. The next product is something that I've had for a really, really long time, but I've never actually used because it doesn't really look overly appealing. Um, but it's the Walida Acnodoran Purifying Lotion. I don't know if that's the name of it, but it's intensive care for problem skin. And I don't know if you meant to use this all over your face, it doesn't have like any instructions or anything. Um, but what I've been doing is basically I've had some really, really bad spots kind of on my chin. I've also had a few of my hairline, I've got one here that's so, so painful. Um, but I don't know where they all came from, I think it was just from stress of like uni coursework and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I had loads of spots and I was trying all of my standards, sort of drink more water, go to the gym, um, chuck loads of spot treatments on my face and it didn't work so I tried this one and it's so, so good at drying out spots. It does dry out your skin a little bit so I wouldn't necessarily recommend using it on like the tiniest of spots because it does kind of dry out the skin around it. Um, but I had like a spot here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it was like bad. It was a bad bad spot even though I looked at me at one point and said like what's that on your face I was like dude it's a spot like just leave me alone um but this helped to get rid of it pretty much overnight like the first night I put it on it dried it out and then the second night I put it on again and then the next day I was able to this sounds so gross but I was able to literally kind of like peel the spot off and the skin underneath had healed so I've been using it with a cotton bud and I've just been kind of dipping it in and just popping it on all the areas that I have spots and it works a treat. So, like I said, don't know if I'm even using it the right way, but whatever, it seems to be working for me. The times when I've been whacking my legs out, which granted hasn't been that often because the weather in the UK has been horrendous, I've been using the This Works Perfect Leg Skin Miracle. I feel like this is quite similar to the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I haven't used that before, but it seems to do kind of what everyone says the Sally Hansen one does. And it's basically got like a slight colour to it, kind of like a, a deep-ish orangey browny colour. But when you put it over your legs, it smooths everything out, it makes your skin feel really smooth, gets rid of the colour of any veins and stuff like that. And I just find that it kind of gives my legs like a nice sheen. Um, even if I don't shave my legs, like I've gone out and I've had probably legs that need to be shaved. I've put this on and it just makes my legs look like they're smooth. So um, yeah, really like this for when I get my legs out. I'm actually going on holiday in a few weeks time now. It's like my first proper holiday in like four years and I could not be more excited. So I'm probably going to take this with me because 
obviously hot weather I'm going to Turkey by the way um, and I just thought like this would look really nice in photos because obviously I'm going to be Instagramming the whole bloody thing um, but yeah I'll be popping this in my suitcase just a shame that it's in such like a big bottle um, because you know obviously it's quite hefty but it's worth it I absolutely love it so the next product is something that I've been using so so often because now that I've finished uni I've been going up to London quite a lot pretty much every single week and the trains to get to London they take about five hours so if I want to get to London in like good time I tend to leave at like six in the morning. So for that I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury five minute face palette and this is literally all I could possibly need in terms of powder. So you've got three eye colours, you've got like a standard base colour, an enhanced colour, and then you've got a smoke, you've got a bronzer, you've got the swish and pop blushes, and then you've also got a highlighter, which by the way is absolutely amazing. Um, this is pretty much all I need in terms of putting powdery things on my face, and as you can see, it's really, really sleek packaging, it fits into my handbag or even like a clutch bag or anything, and pretty much everywhere I go now, I take this with me just for any touch-ups, because it takes like no room up in my bag and if I just chuck in a brush then I'm pretty much good to go, chuck in some concealer and that's kind of like my entire face pretty much. Um, I just absolutely love it, there's not one colour in the palette that I dislike, um, I find the colours all suit me really, really nicely and they probably suit pretty much every single skin tone really nicely um, and I like that it says, I don't know if you've got to see it because I have used it so much but it has like one, two, three and it kind of like numbers everything so if you are a beginner this is also really, really good because you can just follow the numbers and you'll end up looking like a Charlotte Tilbury model, although I'm still working on that. If you watched one of my recent tutorials, which was for the Freedom Makeup Competition, you will have seen me feature this. This is the Freedom Pro Strobe Palette, and it's just absolutely amazing. I feel like it's a massive dupe for the Anastasia um, Contour Kit. I haven't tried that, but I feel like the colours are pretty much spot on for what you get in the kit. This is £10 I believe and it comes with a brush which is really, really good. I should have shown you actually but if you look in the video which I'll link down below it's like this really, really nice sort of flat contouring brush. Literally my favourite contouring brush now. But my favourite colour has to be this one and then I bronze up with this one and I might just add a little bit of that one in. That one's kind of like a bit of a meh colour but it's these two that are amazing. And then I also highlight under my eyes with this one, sometimes this one as well depending on what sort of colouring I am. Um, then it's also got a highlighter in which I don't love but you know it's good to have it in because it just means that you can take this palette and chuck a bit of highlighter on your face. Uh, for £10 I think this is absolutely amazing. I have to say it's probably like my favourite contour kit maybe, um, just for these colours. I wish they would come out with like a little quad because I feel like if you got rid of that colour and that colour and then just put those four in a quad that would be absolutely amazing for travel. Um, but yeah, this like I said, tenor, comes with a brush, literally so so good, really, really pigmented, not powdery or anything like that, goes on like a dream, stays on like a dream and yeah I just really, really love it. So the next thing is something seriously overhyped but I finally picked it up for myself and it is literally so worth the hype. It's the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray and this is the All Nighter one and I've always just thought that MAC Fix Plus would kind of just set my makeup and I always thought that my makeup kind of stayed on like fairly decently, like six or seven hours or so. This will literally keep my makeup on from, you know, like I said when I go to London, I'll put this on my actual skin makeup and it will keep my makeup on from about 6 o'clock in the morning and then the other day I got home at 7 in the morning because I took an overnight train and my, my makeup like I'd been rained on, I'd gotten very very drunk, I'd walked around the city, I'd slept, I'd done all these different things. My makeup was still pretty alright, like I would have gone outside in it and I think that's pretty amazing for a spray. It is pricey when I bought it, it hurt my soul, I think it was like 20 quid or something and I was kind of like... 20 quid for this like watery stuff that I'm just gonna spray on my face but when I want my makeup to last this goes right on there. Next up is something that I'm pretty sure will be on everyone's favourites for like the past few months and a few months to come and that is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade That Glow. I picked this up in my US Beauty Haul which I will link down below but as you can probably see I have been going ham on the bubbly shade. This is seriously like the best highlighter I've ever used. I was apprehensive about buying it but now that I've got it, like I use it every single day. The pans aren't massive, so I'm not going to go through it anytime soon. Although, like at the rate I'm using it, it's probably going to be sooner than I thought. Um, but yeah, this is literally like probably one of my favourite purchases of the year because it just it is again 100% worth the hype, especially this colour. I would pay like the 40 quid or the 40 dollars or whatever just to get this colour again because it's just worth it in my opinion. Best purchase of the year. Just putting it out there. 
But anyway, that's it from me. Please feel free to leave your favourites down in the comment section down below and let me know if you guys have tried any of my favourites. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!